Long Island Railroad commuters traveling within New York City could receive a 10% discount on their monthly ticket beginning July under a plan being considered this week by MTA officials. The 12-month long pilot program, which is expected to coincide with the launch of the Metropolitan Transportation Authority's congestion pricing tolling program, would encourage drivers to switch to transit and avoid the toll, according to the proposal before the MTA's Finance Committee Monday. The full MTA board will take up the proposal on Tuesday. Under the plan, LIRR and Metronorth monthly tickets for trips between New York City stations, including those in Queens, Brooklyn, and Manhattan, would be discounted by 10%. That would drop the cost of a monthly pass between Fair Zone 3 stations, like Rosedale, Queens Village or St. Albans, and Fair 1 stations, like Penn Station, Grand Central Terminal, or Atlantic Terminal from the current $220 to $199.75. The reduced prices would remain in effect for at least 12 months and through the next permanent fare increase, which is scheduled for some time in 2025. In recommending the passage of the plan, MTA officials, in their written proposal, noted that the discount followed consultation with the houses of the legislature. New fare discounts were included in the state legislature's recently approved budget. MTA officials have estimated that LIR ridership will increase by as much as 2% with the launch of the Central Business District Tolling Program, which would charge most vehicles driving below 60th Street $15 in new tolls. The first in the nation congestion pricing plan is tentatively set to take effect on June 30th, although it could be delayed by pending lawsuits challenging its legality. A 2% boost in ridership would mean about 4,600 additional passengers on LIRR trains each day. Speaking to Spectrum News New York one Monday morning, MTA Chairman and CEO John Lieber said there remains room on the commuter rails to accommodate the additional riders. I've always been passionate about the idea that New York City people should get more of the Long Island Railroad and Metro North, Lieber said. So, we're discounting the monthly tickets for folks who ride from, you know, Woodlawn, or Morris Park or, you know, other neighborhoods in the Bronx, Jamaica, Bayside, Douglaston, so that people can use the commuter railroad system and save time. Monthly LIRR tickets were already discounted by 10% in 2022, as the MTA sought to urge riders to return to the railroad following massive ridership losses caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. After the two 10% discounts, the cost of a monthly pass between stations in Queens and in Manhattan will be about 16% lower than they were five years ago, when it would have cost $234. The MTA board is poised to pass a 10% discount on monthly tickets for Long Island Railroad and Metro North trips that start and end within the five boroughs as part of a pilot program that would go into effect on July 1st, a day after congestion pricing is set to launch. The pilot program, which is expected to be voted on Tuesday, would likely last for about a year as transit leaders weigh whether to make it permanent. As outlined by the MTA, the discounts would vary between $14 and $22 on the LIRR, depending on which fare zone strap hangers travel through. For example, a monthly LIRR pass between Jamaica, Queens, and Penn Station would drop from $220 to $198. Monthly discounts on Metro North trains would range from $6.50 to $19.75, depending on travel zones. Commuters riding from Grand Central to Yankee Stadium would see their fare drop from $199.75 to $180. Transit officials have signaled that the discount is part of an effort to entice New Yorkers to leave their vehicles at home and opt for public transportation. The program will be funded through the state's Outer Borough Transportation account, but it is not clear how much the new fare discounts will cost the MTA.